Pankaj, I think. Okay, so Pankaj, I muted you. Uh, all right, perfect. Good. So I think uh, we can uh, get started. Hey, Surat. Um, right. So let me uh, make sure that something is understood here. Uh, so last week we had Satish, we had Ram, and also we had Payaba attending our session from Capgemini. Uh, so the first question is from the government's point of view, um, our operations volunteers, have you added them into the Microsoft Teams? That's the first question. Yeah, Tayaba and Satish have provided their uh, email addresses, so we were able to add them. We've added them. Okay, perfect. Uh, Ram did not uh, Ram did not give it, is it? Yes. But I actually have their email addresses. You can, uh, you know, I also have it uh, for uh, uh, Neen, Surat, as well as let me let me put it in the chat. Uh, but you know, it. Uh, what I would suggest is that I will also give the preference uh, to you all, right? Surat, if you wanted to um, give your personal email ID to add into this so you don't get some um, emails from Testoper into your day job stuff, right? Uh, I will leave it to you, um, you know, your choice. Uh, but but let me share the screen and uh, share it with you guys, a few things. So what happens is uh, if you are in Teams, uh, then you get access to this Testoper community channel as well as the Testoper project channels. So this one hour, what we normally do is 30 minutes, we talk about you know the teams, uh, teams related stuff. 30 minutes, we all learn together something. That's what we do in this one hour every Friday. Uh, so we are in the first 30 minutes now. So we are going through the governance and try to understand. Um, so, so Capgemini team, if you are uh, having access to the Testoper Microsoft account, so you log out from your Capgemini Microsoft account and then you log in into uh, Testoper Microsoft account, then you will get to see these channels and you can offline help the team. So right now we have three teams, right? So we have um, Artificial Squad, um, then we have Skill Link and the Future led by three uh, leaders and the team, okay? So the you, what, what Capgemini team has to know is there are three teams led by three leaders, right? So the first team is led by Greg, and the second team is led by um, uh, um, Sandra, and the third team is led by Fien, okay? And then Fien is not available today. Ashwin is representing uh, Fien. So these, these are the three teams. Who have come? Who you know? We all came together, and these three teams has been formed. Now they are starting from scratch to come up with an idea, build something, and become an innovator and an entrepreneur. Right? So that's the whole thought process. So the Capgemini team, uh, you need to understand three things, right? So the first thing is you got to give your email address, first name, and last name, so we can add you into the Microsoft Teams. How you can do that is you can actually provide it in the chat microsoft teams chat here okay or what you can also do is if you see in this uh, chat there is a whatsapp group link you can join the whatsapp it's only for the testoper project team you can join the whatsapp group and then you can provide your first name last name and email address in the whatsapp group whichever you are comfortable right it's not mandatory that you got to be in whatsapp group but if you want to be in whatsapp group you can be in the whatsapp group but it's mandatory that if you can if you if you are in the teams then you would be able to help the, you know, these three teams offline with your advice. So that's the first thing you got to, we got to get you on board into that. And then the second thing is, uh, I wanted, uh, uh, you know, you all to understand that, especially the, the three teams, right? Uh, the Capgemini team, I wanted you to understand we have three teams and uh, you are allowed to pick any one of the team or you are allowed to actually help all the three team members, right? It's totally up to you. So the way that we are running this program is it's jointly run by Capgemini team and me together, we are running this program. So whoever is coming from Capgemini, they are all the mentors for this particular program. So you can join one of the team or you can join all the team and help them with whatever that you are expert of, right? 
If you are expert of coding, help them to learn coding because remember our team is, you know, the goal of the Christopher project is all about taking someone who has an inspiration to become a tech entrepreneur and innovator and taking them from level zero to get there, right? So you would find mix of different types of people in the team. So, you know, they might ask you help from different angles. Someone is good in coding. They might ask you something else and someone is not at all good in coding. They might ask you something else. They might ask you to validate the idea. They may share the ideas with you to get opinions or whatever, right? So the, this program, Testoper project is run by Capgemini team and Khadar together um, from the Testoper community. And the second point that brings to the conclusion, Fian, uh, Ashwin, Greg, and Sandra, please reach out to our Capgemini team. So in Capgemini, there are six mentors. They have actually, um, you know, you can see here, right? So these are the names of the mentors, right? First name and last name. I'm going to chat, put this in the chat, okay? All right. So what I would recommend is you all take this and keep it in your um, leaders and the team members, keep it and then reach out to them in the Microsoft Teams and get help from them um, during the session as well as offline, uh, take help from them. So now we are lucky before we never had any mentors to help us. Now we have six mentors from Capgemini who's going to um, help you guys and who's actually going to jointly run this program together with me. Now they are, you know, actually they are just onboarding. So I'm just uh, keeping them in the program, but I would be discussing with them offline as we evolve to make this program more, um, more, more energetic and, uh, and uh, you know, enjoyable as things evolve. So that's the second thing. OK, and then the third thing is um, I wanted to let you know that we uh, test over community. We applied for the grant to Brampton for uh, doing this particular program, right? And we have been um, now approved to do this program from the Brampton community. Uh, and they are actually, um, you know, giving us on cash close to $4,000 for spending on all the tools that we have been using for this particular program. But now there is a catch, right? I cannot spend this $4,000 on all these tools if I don't, if I, you know, I can get $4,000 only if I spend $8,000. <laughs> so where do I get another $4,000? I don't know. So I'm still working on it uh, and uh, reaching out to the people and the sponsors to see if they can. Then then what we can do is we would be able to spend that uh, money towards, um, you know, the, uh, the the tools and different things that we are we are doing. Had it not been COVID, I, we could have done a get together, uh, you know, mm -hmm. um, fingers crossed. You never know, right? Before December, things can change. And we can have a get together, um, you know, uh, those who can join us maybe in, in, in Brampton, right? Uh, and, and, uh, and, and in Toronto. I know someone from Capgemini and all are joining from, uh, from other countries, uh, but, but you can always do a virtual one. We will send you food through virtually. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> so, but the point is you, you all understand, right? Um, so, so it's going to be really good. Now we need, to, we need to enhance on this and we need to prove ourselves as a team with the minimum MVP that we can do before end of this year. And we all have to prove ourselves that we have learned things together, okay? Perfect. Those are the three key governance points that I wanted to uh, tell you all. Don't worry, I'll try to figure out another $4,000 from where I can get. I still have six, seven months to go, right? Um, I, I will, I'm, I'm uh, trying my best to help you guys as much as that we can. So all the money will be spent on the tools uh, that we would be using. Already we are using GitHub. Uh, Microsoft Teams, and we will find if there is additional money, we'll also find some additional tools that would be useful for you guys. And if you believe some of the some of the books or something that we need to buy for you guys, an online copy to to further develop the skills as we continue on this, right? Uh, I you know we will also procure that within the budget. So we'll be working together to do that. Okay, perfect. Any questions, team? All good. Father, I just want to let you know that I think from Capgemini 9, Sui also has joined in. Who? 9, Sui. I see her name in your list of names. So in the last, if you go towards the end of your list, the last name. I, 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 his name is also there. Right? Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, his name is also there. Right, so we have a wonderful team. So take a benefit from the Capgemini team and everyone, you all should be happy. Now we were looking for, see, we were looking for mentors. We got the mentors, right? And um, we were looking for uh, some support to do these tools because all these tools were going out of my pocket money. Now we got some something and we need to get some more money to spend that, but that's a different story. I'll work on that. So now we are slowly, slowly getting what we need, right? And we can spend some, uh, some money that we have towards marketing this program, you know, after a little bit more stabilization after two to three weeks to get more people into this team. And this will really help us to grow together and learn together, okay? So excellent team. Now let's move on to, uh, so we have 14 minutes for uh, for get an update from the from all the three teams. So let's get started with uh, Greg. Greg, would you like to provide the update on what's happening within your team so that, you know, Capgemini, the new members from the Capgemini can also get some picture and they get impressed on you and your team. They will come and help you. And, and so on, right? <laughs> take, take a couple of minutes uh, sure. and uh, pitch, pitch in front of them. Please go ahead. Sure, sure. Thanks, Kada. Yeah, thanks um, um, everyone, especially for the Cap Gem 19 for joining us today. Um, um, well, basically, um, my group is called the, the Future Group, uh, a team of five working through the projects of uh, labor markets. So our idea is to work on labor markets research to provide, um, you know, to understand what jobs of the future look like, um, impacts of automation to job, how people can transition from one job to the other. So this is a part of the research. And when we're going through this project, we looked at the customer segments that we're going to sell to or provide this solution to. So um, at the end of the day, um, um, we looked at the immigrants, um, the, Im the immigrants coming into Canada, um, students graduating high school, okay, um, co um, institutions, colleges, and whatnot. So we decided to settle down with one customer segment. We should start with one, uh, so that we can start building on that foundation. So we did. We have decided to work with the a student segment. Um, a lot of students finishing high school don't have the necessary tools to understand how the jobs of the future will look like. So that is the idea we're currently um, working on. So we are still in the concept phase. So um, we've done our survey. Um, we're just waiting to get approval from Kada and his team on the survey so that we can start talking about distribu uh, distributing the survey to uh, um, to our target audience so that we can get answers and begin to understand if um, that is a solution that we can provide for them. So we need those answers before we can continue. That is where we currently at. Um, 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 we'll be reaching out to you. Um, I have a co-lead in my team, Saga. Uh, she's um, leading the team with me. So we'll reach out to you to see where you can help us in terms of knowledge um, and any transferable skills you can uh, transfer to us. So uh, that is just uh, a brief summary of what we do. Thanks. Greg, good, good, good. So from last time to this time, lots of improvement, Greg. Last time when I asked you to introduce, you took five minutes. Now you finished it in two minutes. That's good. So now you got to work a little bit more on that to pitch it in a minute. One minute and people gets attracted to work with you and help you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Uh, so, so as you can see, Capgemini team, they are they have an idea. You know, idea is 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 volatile, right? It it needs to be refined as things evolve. But the goal is to help them to go through the process from start to end. What does it take to become an innovator and an entrepreneur, right? So and and an entrepreneur. That's that's the goal. And Greg is the team. Uh, 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 Greg and the team are called the future and you can go, you know, once you have access to this, you can go in there and you can collaborate with the team, ask questions and uh, get answers. And Greg, you don't have to get approval from me for the for the uh, survey, right? I will read through that and I'll give my inputs. You can also send that uh, survey to all the members to get, get the input, including the Capgemini team, okay? Okay. Perfect. Now let's move on to um, Ashwin. So, if you wanted to pitch Ashwin about your project, 
uh, Ia Kadar. So uh, my team is working uh, with uh, one concept. Uh, this concept to provide a interface between uh, the two peoples, uh, Needer and uh, Seeker. So it's similar concept of like uh, uh, Uber or uh, uh, maybe say Airbnb, where we providing a common platform between uh, two parties and uh, give him a uh, opportunity to talk with each others and take the services. So services like that, uh, if someone looking to be clean their house or looking some house based uh, services. So this portal will provide the service provider and service needer to be the common interface. And we decide the name of the service is a uh, quick work. And uh, we prepare one survey and uh, I suppose my team lead Feen uh, looking to discuss with you uh, how to be spread the survey to the more people so that we can get a better feedback and look forward to be work uh, on this concept for the next level. This is good. Good, good, good. And what's your team's name? You forgot mentioning that to everyone. A uh, quick uh, skill. Skill link. Skill link. Okay. Uh, uh, Kader, sorry to interrupt, you, but I want to add here. Uh, uh, in our last meeting, uh, we have decided our um, project's name which is a quick work and so we want to change from skill links to quick work yeah yeah that can be done uh, you know uh, mickey can help you to change that no issues we have volunteers operations volunteers so, so now yeah. onwards uh, we are uh, like quick work not skill link okay okay thank you so you guys are going to be quick now that's awesome perfect <laughs> i like it perfect and uh, let's go to sandra sandra Hi, hi. How are you, Kader? Hi, everyone. Good. How is Peru? How is the weather in Peru? Uh, well, a very difficult situation because of political, <laughs> the presidential election. But well, we continue working and going on. Good. So floor is all yours, Sandra. Yes, well, uh, we have our meeting this week and we already decided to um have two sprints um one of them is we need to continue developing the business side and we we agree to list uh, the main points uh, in order to build the financial document and meanwhile we we agree that we need to learn more about the django framework so i hope that the next week we could have more insights in the next meeting. Perfect. And can you um, share to the Capgemini team your team name and your idea at a very high level, like 30 seconds? Yes, well, my my team is Artificial Squad and we would like to help candidates to know what is the, the your skills gap uh, when they compare uh, the skills that they have with the job offers within job boards. So we would like to help them in that way. Perfect. So Capgemini team, you got some idea about how we are structured now. Uh, this is a pilot program that we are doing, right? Um, so the, we have three teams with three, you know, now you can become part of these teams, mentor them and help them to build, the, build on this idea and guide them throughout this year you know, joining this session, or even if you don't join this session, you can offline collaborate with them in the Microsoft Teams. In the phone, you can actually have two teams, right? Uh, and, and you can have a Capgemini team and teams, and also you can have a Testoper teams, and you can collaborate and help this team. Remember, these teams are starting from scratch, and, and their ambition is to become an innovator and entrepreneur, and that's what it is. And uh, this program is to really help them to get there, and this pro program runs throughout the year. So any questions from the Capgemini team or from the act, you know, Testo per projects team? Anything that you yeah. have between each other, please ask, ask among each other, please. Yeah, I just have uh, a question. Um, when we had a meeting with the operations team, when we're setting up the framework, like um, given our username to be set up in Git, 
uh, we talked about some training that we're going to have for for our team members. Uh, I know we talked about Git, Linux, and all that. So I wanted to know when we can have those training because we'll need all those skills to start um, developing when we start our uh, development. Uh, learn about the GitHub. GitHub. Yeah. We've, we've been set up on GitHub, but I'm talking about the training. Training for? Um, we talked about training to understand how Git works. Git um, works. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. How Git works, how Linux works. Personally, I know, I know it, but for team members. So um, how they work so that team members can understand how they work so that um, when we start development, you need to understand how Git work uh, for version control, committing your code and all that. That is one of them. And understanding the Linux command, we talked about those. Understood, understood. So there's two ways, right? Uh, one way is uh, we had uh, one session last year on the Git, which is should be in the video uh, of uh, in the in the YouTube. Mickey, if you remember, uh, send yeah. to send to right? Uh, you can probably share that video to the team. And uh, Mickey, maybe you can also you know prepare a, a small session and then and then uh, you know have have an offline session with the team to help to yeah, understand. Yeah, that's. So uh, what Craig is talking about, it's uh, we did a call with all the team leads uh, at the beginning of this month. Mm -hmm. So Patra uh, suggested to give some trainings uh, to help them out, uh, to stand care, the framework, uh, to get stuff on the cloud. So I'll talk to uh, Patra about it uh, offline and then get back to you about it next week. Perfect, perfect. And, and if you, and if you yeah, and if you believe that, uh, Mickey, uh, yeah. we need to use next week's uh, any next week's or a week after session six to seven uh, to provide one hour training on that. Uh, we can we can do yeah. Do that. I'll take yeah. you off to let you know. Perfect, perfect. No issues. We'll do that. Uh, uh, great. Any other questions? Yes, uh, so first of all, please send a send a uh, video, Mickey, to all the team members. Right, the the already a training that was that was done from Testopper that should help them. And also after that, they can have some some kind of a, a short training in 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 six to seven, right? Uh, and and we can go from there. Okay, yeah. there was some other questions. Uh, question came up from someone, please. Yes, hi, uh, my name is Sigal. I'm part of um, the future team. Um, I had a question for, um, I'm not sure who's on the call from um, the mentors. I just wanted to say that uh, kind of to, uh, to kind of more pitch the idea that if you really are passionate about helping students um, um, and um, you have children or really just contributing to the future in terms of, you know, making sure that they are on the right track and they are prepared for the future um job and also i mean careers and also that they also do something that they would like if you're really passionate about that we would like you to join our team thank you very much that's a nice pitch sagal <laughs> thanks <Saga. laughs> so good job good job so so cap gemini team right it's mutual so they are going to pull you in and you also have to go and pull them in right help each other um it's a great uh, great uh, giving back uh, to, to help you know um, each other and, and get benefit from each other. Thanks a lot. Um, anything else? Any other questions from Capgemini before we jump into the next half of 30 minutes learning together? No, thank you for all the introductions. Uh, it was good to get to know from each of the teams. And uh, I do imagine though, uh, how many of these sessions have you had so far with these teams? I just want to understand that i understand you do this every friday so is this the second I session or have now, you started some time back a while ago we started uh, early jan okay so almost and, I think probably yeah. around 15 16 sessions almost we are through got you and and do the mentors who join and do they keep changing uh, pretty frequently no no so so let me explain you the way that we kind of started this whole program right so we didn't market this program okay. right and and uh, we created this in the event bright and then people you know everyone here uh, joined this program and they know what this program is all about and they have a passion of becoming an innovator and entrepreneur and entrepreneur right so they joined it 
Now, what we do in this program is, like I said, first 30 minutes, mostly we talk about technical stuff, challenges and stuff like that. Next 30 minutes, I train them all the tools and techniques that are required to get there, minus technical stuff, right? Uh, like coding and other things. Now, coding and all other things, they have an opportunity to learn from multiple sources, which we enable through this program. Uh, one of the source that we have provided them is IBM Skill Build, right? It's a it's a, a platform where there's a lot of courses are there. You can go and register and you can learn. So we have provided that from Testoper to them. And we also got approval from IBM uh, to become a startup for IBM affiliate. So what does it mean is these three teams, they can register as a startup affiliate of Testoper and they can get a cloud credit to use their cloud. OK, so we kind of enable all these things uh, to them. And now in that process, uh, the what we had, you know, we had a goal for first to six months, right? So in, the, in, in that process, we wanted to form this team. When they came, they came raw, right? Now they have formed three teams, right? And they have gone through multiple things like norming, forming, and I'll, I'll show you the slides uh, in, a, in, a, in a while to quickly tell you that, right? Um, so so we, we kind of learned together to get to where we are now. Now, what was missing for us was two more things, right? One was funding that was missing. And then the second one is a solid technical mentors were missing, right? So that is why I reached out to Glenn and uh, I, I, I wanted to partner with, for the tools we partnered with, right? And for grant, we did a lot of effort and we now got the grant from Brampton, right? Approximately around 4,000. Now we cannot spend it, like I said, we need another 4,000, we are still working on it. Now, the third thing is we wanted mentors. Now we wanted to do this till end of May and stabilize this three teams. Um, uh, you know, they have already a little bit stabilized and we want to stabilize more together with mentor and, and all these things that are coming together now. Then we will go and do some more marketing to bring in additional people to join this team or form the new teams and end this whole year, right? So that's the, uh, that's the structure of this program, okay? Now, what we have learned, that brings us to um, the next to 30 minutes. Let me start sharing. Uh, share, sharing. So in the next last 30 minutes, normally we learn, right? It's a, you know, like uh, I give some sessions and once Sandra gave her sessions, right? And anyone from Capgemini, if you have uh, something that you wanted to really teach uh, the team, you can come back to me and that's 30 minutes you can use to give uh, uh, the team to, to learn. But nevertheless, what in this 30 minutes we are trying to learn is we are trying to learn four things throughout the year. OK, so the first thing that we wanted to learn is which I call it as a foundational elements. So in the foundational elements, um, you know, it's, it's more practical stuff, right? Not theoretical, uh, you know, the, the kind of discussions that we have here. So in the foundational elements, we wanted to learn about few things. Some, some basic definitions and the personal abilities and attributes that we should have to become uh, uh, you know really successful as, a, as an innovator. So this is something that uh, that we have been going through and and we are you know we, we are here and there's some more to finish which we will be talking today. Then this and the kind of skills and tools and frameworks this is something that we have already provided it to them. And then mentors now is so now it should say here, I should say here mentors from Capgemini. So we also have some external mentors like Farhan. Uh, now, you know, it's a fasting period for, for, for Muslims, so he's not able to join this session, but he kind of helps the team offline as well, right? So now mentors we have now from, uh, uh, from from you all, right? Make sure that yeah. Yeah. So now uh, you know this is the foundational element that we wanted to learn together. And the second thing that we want to learn together is a product. How do you start from the concept all the way to delivering the product and and uh, keeping it running, right? So the second thing that we wanted to learn together this year is about the product. And then the third thing that we want to learn together is an entrepreneurship. So in addition to in addition to uh, you know foundational elements, in addition to the complete product uh, life cycle to help them go from starting to the end, um, uh, what additional things that you need to learn as an entrepreneur, right? How to make a pitch deck, how to make a business plan, and those kind of things. 
That's the third thing that they would learn, right? The first thing is foundational element, second thing is product, and the third thing is that. And then the fourth thing is what we believe is while they are learning all these things, they practically do that uh, with the, with the with the idea whatever that they have, and uh, in parallel they develop the skills and they are able to you know uh, build some MVP. It may not have to be a full fledged project, but but throughout this year. by end of this year when the program completes they are completely understood the basics of all these four topics and they are able to build some product with a minimum mvp and they are able to really go and learn how to pitch and even uh, you know go and pitch i don't know if the product become successful maybe they become entrepreneurs they will give me uh, some 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 job or something right so so that's the thought process these are the four things that we wanted to really go through is that all clear now you got it perfect So now let's uh, go through this uh, quickly. Uh, we have 24 minutes. Let's learn together some stuff today. So these are all the stuffs that we have already learned. We learned about the complete product management life cycle, and then we really learned in deep about concept phase. And the reason that I'm telling you this is because Capgemini team, especially, you heard from all the three team members that we are in the concept phase. So wh- where they are right now is they have an idea. and they are trying to make a decision on that idea and validate on that idea to move forward and that's where they are in concept phase so initially i introduced them what is concept phases and what are all the things that they need to do during the concept phase and that's where they are trying to do and intentionally we did not go after that feasibility definition and all those things we did not go because i wanted them to really spend a lot of time during the concept phase which is what they are trying to do in addition to developing their skills um then we jumped into learning some of the basic things that everyone should know right we started learning what are what is the difference between products product lines solutions and services now the team understands all these different um, things and they understand what is product management what is a product manager because see it's very important right they have to play a role as a product manager because they are going to become a ceo when you are a ceo you are you are the owner of the product so you need to have the skills of product management and as a product manager so they kind of learnt about that and they they also learnt about certain things certain skills that are very very important to keep the team together you know initially they were having challenges to keep the team together now team is becoming they are they are forming and even though even they will they will have continue to have the challenges right it's not going to go away but but the point is that they are they are getting there right so they learn something about leadership and we learn together and then we learn together what are all the different stages of teams and how do, what are the things that we need to do to make the team stronger right and how do you assign the responsibility and why it is very important to have the leadership skills and and, and we learned about a lot of leadership skills that one should have and and you know and the team together matured in last 3 to 3 uh, months uh, learning all these things together right then we started learning together analyzing the industry now we are getting into the real meat stuff right so if you look at the foundational element in the in the uh, starting just uh, so you can actually see understood some basic definitions uh, you know leadership was very important because we wanted to start training them on the leadership first so that they all become leaders and they are able to you know we could have started by just uh, teaching them on coding right but that becomes boring right if you don't have the leadership skill if you cannot keep the team together i mean just learning the coding they will they will move out right this program will not be successful so we help them to develop the leadership skills we help them to develop uh, how to build the teaming and we help them to develop what are all the things that they need to think to make the decisions right so these are all the things that we help them to learn then um, the one last thing that we were wanted to do is we also wanted them to give a very basic understanding of a finance because a finance is something that they need to know if they wanted to really become an entrepreneur and that's what we did in our last session and we also covered in parallel uh, analyzing the industry and competition now why this was important for them because they are in the in the concept phase right when they are in the concept phase they need to really know which industry that they are addressing and they need to know how to understand the competitions how to come up with an idea that uh, that can really be better than the competitions that are out there and they need to understand how to discover the customer needs and market segment right so they they actually already started writing the surveys and stuff like that but i wanted to tell them give them some more tools that are going to tips that are going to really help them to understand the customer needs and market segments 
then i'm going to help them to understand how to kind of forecast and set the milestones and how to do the strategic planning because if they understand all these things that are tied to the concept phase the concept phase will become kind of a complete right then we move, we can move on to the next phase next phase next phase and we can learn together and do things together so this is where this is what we have been doing since last three three and a half months probably um the the capgemini team is pretty pretty understood uh, clear and this presentation is available in the teams so once you have access to the teams you can always go through this and and uh, you know if you have any questions you can also you know ask me i'll be happy to explain and things like that okay now let's jump into next 19 minutes of let's try to close the finance basics that we learned together right so what did we learn together just a recap i don't want to get into the details but just a recap i provided a link that could um, oh boy okay so opening so i provided a link so that you can understand the basics of the financial statements right so last what we what we learned last time is what is a balance there are three major financial statements we learned so what is a balance sheet what is an income statement what is a cash flow statement this is what we learned and and learned little bit of more more detail and kind of summarizing that so what is a balance sheet balance sheet is going to really help you to understand your company right what is your company's uh, uh, how how do i put it your company's strength right that's the right word to use is it's going to give you um, how much you own how much you have to owe and what's the difference if the difference is positive that means the owner's equity is good right the shareholder shareholder's equity is good that's what the balance sheet is all about and understanding this is very important right i'll come back to you why but i'll give you one example even small small things when you are going and joining a company for a job you know maybe when you are a, when you are in the entry level you don't really care what you care is like okay i'm going to join this company and they give they are giving me 50000 60000 so i'm joining this company and i'm getting it your thinking process only will be up to that level but but you know if you if you know if, you, if the company is a public company or you know you can actually go and look at the balance sheet and all these financial statement to really understand how that company is performing is it a safe company for me to join will they be able to you know maybe when you are earning 50000 60000 20000 40000 it won't make a difference but when you are becoming a, a senior executive you got to really go and look at these to make sure you are making a right decision to join the right company otherwise you would end up in a situation where you join a company after 6 months you are fired because they don't have money to pay you so so these are all some of the examples that i kind of shared with you guys yesterday right so the balance sheet is something that we learned sorry in our last session balance sheet something we learned what it is right and then what we learned was the income statement so income statement is the balance sheet is over the period of what it's going to give you the company strength right um, at a given point of time and then the income statement is all about a company for a month to month to year to year right how much have i sold how much did i spend to sell this good and how much money that i uh, you know have in remaining and and what is the uh, you know um, uh, am i making profitable or not every year like for example it's possible i'll give you a, a practical example let's say you go to an investor okay as an as an entrepreneur and you got to really go and tell them you got to create this right you got to say hey you are giving me 100000 dollars i'm going to spend 30000 dollars first year 40000 dollars second year and then uh, 20000 dollars third year and in the third year i'm going to start earning the money so i'm going to i'm going to get uh, another 20000 dollars that's my run rate for the year so i'm break even right then after that i'm going to get 60000 dollars so i'm making 20000 dollars profit break you know because 40000 i need to run the company so 20000 is the profit and i'm going to start paying you back in next 5 years i'm going to get the return on investment all the money you invested i'm going to get you back you know these are all the things as an entrepreneur you got to plan right so you got to understand how your income and expenditure month over month year over year is going to go and is going to show um so that you know how you are going to spend how you are going to recover the money what is your return on investment and in order for you to really do all that you need to understand what the income statement is and that's what we learned as you know in our last session what the income statement is 
then finally i you know we we talked about cash cash flow an income statement sometimes called as a profit and loss statement okay what is the profit and what is the you know are you profitable or you are or loss right month over month year over year that's that's also an another name normally given to this income statement now the third one that we learned was the cash flow well all these things are good right you have good assets 10 million dollar assets and uh, owners you know you have multiple buildings and all those things are super right but if you don't have a money to money in your bank how would you pay your employee so you got to make sure there is always the cash that goes out and that comes in and your 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 account always is 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 having enough cash that can allow you to operate your company and when you are giving when you are selling it you got to sell in a way that you get the money from the customers uh, and you have a cash flow so that you can buy to give money to the vendors to procure the raw materials you can give money to the employees who is working so so managing the cash flow is very very important if you want to become an entrepreneur and entrepreneur without that you cannot run your show so that's why i wanted to really explain a very basic thing these are not very details and you don't need to know the details right when you become an entrepreneur you're going to have your cfo he is going to take care of you on all these things but at least you need to understand the very basic things so that you can you can create your planning in a way that you can uh, you can you can be a good uh, uh, you know an entrepreneur as such okay so this is what we learned in detail i just wanted to give you the recap of that now let's go back to asking ourselves a question why it is important for you every one of you who is in this session why is it important you want to become you have an idea and you want to become an entrepreneur that is the very basic reason why it is important for you now if you go to one step next when you are becoming an entrepreneur you got to create a business case you got to press i will you know you will learn what business cases in future sessions right somewhere around june june time frame when we get into the third one right uh, the entrepreneurship related stuff i'll teach you what is the business case how to create the business case what are the different things that are inside the business case and all those things i will i'll give you the training but for now understand the business case is something that you got to present to your investors to ask the investment and they need to be convinced about your idea about your business case so that they know if they put the money if they give the money to you they are going to be profitable so in order for you to create a business case for investments and go and ask investments whether you're going to go and ask to the investor or even when you are going to ask to a cap gemini senior management to build a product a new product for the customer base you got to have that knowledge right then why also you need that uh, that knowledge is see once you have the business case right you got to start forecasting right when you are saying in a business case i'm going to uh, earn um, year 1 30000 year 2 450000 year 3 70000 what does it mean right how are you going to make that money which are all the customers that you are going to go behind how much are they going to pay how many units that i need to sell to make that 70000 or 20 30000 every year so you got to start forecasting all those things right well you got the money <laughs> right but you got to return that money to them how you will return the money you got to make you got to sell so you got to forecast how how much you are going to sell so now if you forecast you got to sell it for 100000 then you are uh, remember that profit and loss income statement will become important for you because that knowledge becomes important for you why because you are going to sell it for 100000 and you are going to get 100000 but 100000 is not all yours right you have employees to give you have marketing budget to spend you have to give it to the vendors who provided you the raw materials if it is a hardware based products now what is the remaining profit and loss how much money that i have in remaining and that's going to be the uh, that's going to show you it's a profit or loss of of what you are running but initially it will be loss because you would be spending the money of the investors but it has to be turned around in second year third year or fourth year if you don't turn around this what will happen is you will not be able to pay the investors money and then you will end up in a situation that you would end up paying your personal uh, assets selling a personal assets and to to give them back right because you are a, you are a director and you got to be responsible for all the loans in your company so these are all that's why these these financial statements are very very important 
So you got to assemble the forecast, right? Then you got to do analysis. You have to think, you know, let's say you are buying a raw material today, a sensor that costs $5. What if in the year two and year three that becomes $15? Then your complete forecast and business case goes wrong. Then what will happen? You will end up spending a lot of money to the vendors, giving to vendors. What happens if the salary raises? What happens if the inflation rate is high? So, so you will still sell 100,000, right? But, but, but you will end up spending more. So you got to really analysis and you got to think, right? What if, what if that goes up? What if this goes up? Then you got to go back and adjust your financials. You got to go back and adjust your business case. And the financial statement, understanding the financial statement is also very important because how do you price it? Are you going to price it uh, monthly? Or are you going to price it perpetual? Will will you know different pricing models? We'll talk about it uh, in in future, right? How are you going to price it? So, like for example, if you are building a product that is for the niche market, and you have very few customers, and you got to make hundred thousand, then the product price has to be expensive. But if you if you don't know that, and if you if you price it for only ten thousand, you have only ten customers. You will only earn like hundred thousand, wherein you will you you have business uh, business case you have created for two hundred thousand, then you will have no customers to sell. So the costing model becomes very important, right? That all in order for you to do that again, you need to understand the basic financials, and you got to prepare your budget. How much are you going to spend for marketing? How much are you going to spend for R and D? You need to understand the financials. So once you know all these things, then you create your financial statements for your organization, how it's going to look like for next three to five years. That is your business case. And that's what you're going to convince. Right, I'm marketing, I'm going to spend this. That's, that's, your, that's your complete financials, part of the business case. That is not the complete business case. The investors are going to look at that. How are you going to turn this around? How, am, how are you going to spend this money? How are you going to get the money back? And you got to create that baseline, right? And after that, every year you need to track them, act, adapt, track them, act, adapt. Now you see how important it is for you to understand the basics of financials. That is why I uh, uh, I kind of explained in our last sessions the basics of financial. And today you are able to conclude how important it is to know the financials. Maybe it is not important for you now from the test over project point of view where you are, right? But it is really important for you if you wanted to really become an entrepreneur. And if you are serious in taking these three projects and wanted to make money, right? You can start thinking like this. Now you have a team, right? You are not actually spending money. And, and I am uh, from the Testoper. We are spending money to give you the tools and techniques. And uh, Capgemini is spending their time, right? With in-kind to give you tools and techniques to become an entrepreneur. But imagine if imagine right after learning from all these things from us and next year right you formed a team and you wanted to become an entrepreneur that team that time you need to spend money for uh, zoom or whatever you need to spend money for uh, meeting space when you're meeting for lunch dinner you got to spend money so you know all these things becomes important you when you are building a product you need to go and buy the vendors Right. Now I would probably facilitate you if you wanted to build a product, you wanted a tool and the software, maybe I will buy and give you, right? But when you are trying to do that, you got to buy and buy, buy and do it. So that is why team, it's very important that you understand the finance. Is it all clear? Did you guys learn something out of this particular slide? Do you realize the importance of, uh, of knowing the basics of finance? Yes, no, guys? Yes. Yes. Awesome. To help, to yes. help us our business case. Perfect, perfect. All right. So we have five more minutes. So I'm going to just give you the next topic we are going to, right? Um, so let me go back here. Let's scratch this off. So we learned this together, right? In uh, Oops. All right. Now, what we are, where we are trying to get into is this. Okay. 
this is what we are going to learn so what i'm going to do in next 5 minutes is to just put put a thought in your head and then we will close the session okay and then we will learn more in our subsequent 30 minutes uh, session okay so now the next thing is understanding customer needs so if you look at our uh, foundational elements in the left hand side we completed all the basic definitions to everything in the right hand side is what we are trying to learn is there are few things that's going to really help you during the concept phase and then the first thing in that what we learned was you guys to understand the industries segments and also understand um you know uh, competitions and so on this is something that we learned but we did not learn which is also a most important thing is the customer needs and the segment of the customers that you wanted to serve and market of the customers that you wanted to serve we did not learn and that's what we are going to learn for for you know in in next couple of sessions now one thing that i wanted to tell you there was a question from you all how to send the surveys to everyone i will give you an idea do a small write up tell hey i am i wanted to become an entrepreneur and we formed a team and we are learning together in the test over community to become an innovator and entrepreneur and we have this idea and i need your help to continue our learning would you be kind enough to um, you know um, read through this take 2 minutes of your time and uh, fill in the survey for the aspiring individuals who know nothing about entrepreneurship wants to become an entrepreneur put a post in linkedin put this post in all the groups right go and look for the groups if you are targeting the students go and look for in linkedin go and look for in meetup whatever the 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 public forum google groups look for parents look for kids look for students go and put this you asked how to do this i'm giving you an answer think proactively think out of the box and do this so what is it basically going to really help you it's going to help you first of all you need to ask some questions to yourself right who buys our product and why we will go through this in detail i'll explain you in detail in the next session because we have only 2 minutes i don't want to get into the detail but i just want to give you the trailer who buys our product and why it's very very important that you ask yourself this question what needs motivate the customer benefits customer value the most these three are three different things i'll explain the details in our next session but i wanted you guys to read through this and then you know in the offline till you come to the next session try to understand the depth of it i will explain more in our next session it's very very important for you to kind of understand who buys our product that is your product and why that will help you to segment the customer that will help you to create the product for that particular customer segment what needs motivate that customer if you don't know what motivates them you cannot attract them to look at your product i gave you an example do a linkedin post put an emotional spin into it put a linkedin post every one of you in the team member put a linkedin post individually and put it and and send it you will get responses uh there are good souls there in the society they will help you uh, we are already good souls of 18 people to 20 people in this session we will help each other all right so one thing that i wanted to say before i closing i'll get into all these things and explain you in details and i'll i'll give you some example tools in our next sessions but what is more important for you to understand that is the tip of the day today remember nothing is stagnant you might send a survey today and you might get a response you believe you are doing the right thing but no after one month it might be it might be something else the customers motivations might change 
customers uh, what they value most their value most will change it's transient it's volatile so what does it mean if you want to become an innovator and entrepreneur what does it mean it's the same thing like continuous learning the stopper is all about continuous learning you know that like continuous learning it's also about continuous learning about your customers so there is a difference between continuous learning to develop future skills and innovation and continuous learning to understand the customers but the continuous learning is the same thing maybe it's what you learn is different but continuous learning is the same and continuous learning is what is going to keep you successful and and make you successful in anything and everything that you do you got to continuously learn your customer you got to continuously understand how they evolve and there are few other nice terms that i will explain you and how to segment it how to segment the customers how to segment the market how to go behind but in practice you have already done that you should be proud of before i say this you have already done that a team basically said they wanted to go and focus on the students to help them to develop future skills when they wanted to enter into the workforce you have already segmented your customers you have already segmented your market but we will learn more in our subsequent session so i'll stop here any questions from anyone did you guys learn to learn something today yep sound the noise guys make some noise yep 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes yes <sir. laughs> remember you guys are going to again uh, teach all these things what you are learning to someone else next year i am going to make you guys as a as a as an as an organizer of this program you when you become an entrepreneur and entrepreneur you got to make another five people an entrepreneur and entrepreneur and that's how this whole thing is going to go so whatever you are learning next year you are going to deliver this program remember this and also you know that we have a session where you are allowed to you know we had a session after 3 months we'll also have a session during june every team will come and say what they have learned how they have benefited so make it more uh, engaging so having said that wonderful and thank you for joining thank you personally cap gemini joining me to run this program and please join the testo for uh, community and offline help the people and we will also have a session let let this go for next two weeks right so you will get some kind of an understanding then what we will do is towards the third week of may i'll try to set up a meeting between the uh, cap gemini volunteers uh, you know and and me and then what by that time you would have understood you would have started helping the team then we can start planning what needs to be done for the rest of the year together and then we'll take it forward one step at a time all good you all have a wonderful evening stay safe wherever you are uh you know the variants showing its uh, you know uh, the colors right <laughs> stay safe wherever you are uh, take care and a wonderful weekend see you all next week friday and those who are going to join tomorrow's artificial intelligence master class i will see you guys tomorrow and remember there is two more programs coming up um, on first week of may one is on the test automation the tool you learn is called playwright and then the second one is what you will learn is how to build the app using microservice architecture right so two more programs are coming up on may provided by some of the volunteers in our organization uh, feel free to go to the even bright register and learn learn them as well offline take care and you all have a wonderful evening cap gemini team thanks and and uh, thanks a lot for joining i trust you also learn something today absolutely absolutely a lot of thought inspiring inputs in there. Thanks, Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Happy Friday, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.